We'll need to do this the hard way. Did have an exploration team getting info for you. Um, this was their last communication. You're going to need that. to grab the radar from your dropship. Welcome back, everybody, to Icarus. I'm an old guy gaming in. In this episode, we are going to take a quick look at uh, what I have done on the interior of our base, and then we are going to leave for the very first time since I started this series. We're going to leave the planet and go back up to the space station and do the Zephyr mission so we can unblock uh, the Arctic to get into the other biomes that I happen to go miles and miles around. Uh, but anyway, this is what the, the place looks like at nighttime uh, with the fires going in the fireplace. Uh, very quaint. I have, not, um, I have not finished the wiring or the plumbing or the lighting of the base yet. And because I don't want to do that until I get the what's going to ultimately be a pump house and a, a utility building with all the generators set up um so we will do that uh on a different episode um so what i want to do those i want to just kind of show you um like i said where everything is at and then we are going to take off let's jump jump in here there's still a lot more work to do uh, we still have the barn that i'm going to to build and the pump house, those are the two major structures that I'm still planning on. But um, why don't we go ahead and... Um, let's go ahead and sleep, first of all. Make it daytime so we can see a little bit better. All right, so um, as you may notice, if you've been uh, following all along, I decided to get rid of the interior walls and instead put railings up. I, I think it looks a lot nicer. Um, you know, than just those those big blank walls that we had and it makes things look more spacious and a little more quaint in here So I did that, you know up here for the bedroom area as you can see And I also did that down here uh, where we had the walls that were up We have completed the kitchen arrangement and I upgraded all my stations to the marble version So we have an electric stove both the stove and the sink have water plumbed in and this stove is running off of the water mill uh, over there the power from that um, because that's the one thing that doesn't need to have constant power and um so yeah we got that set up i, I put the freezer over here uh, still have a ton of ice don't know what to do with it probably gonna just throw it away uh, fridge is over here material processor wood composter biofuel composter both of these things I am going to upgrade to the tier 4 version of them, but again, I want to wait until I get the utility shed and the electricity and all that situated, because both of those things will require electricity. Um, salt station there, and then the cooking station there. So yeah, I kind of like uh, how everything came together here in the kitchen. also made sure there was plenty of room for me to walk through here and get out you know, the back and go that way. The wiring and the plumbing are just kind of haphazard all over the place. Again, that will be fixed, and I will neaten that up and make it look nice after we get the utility shed built. The crafting room is also finished, so you can see the arrangement that I made here. This is our ore chest, a raw ore. We got both of the furnaces over there. Um, this is a little jank here, but there wasn't really much I could do about it. You know, with the the bottom of this kind of floating up over the top of that, but. There really just wasn't another good place for me to put the masonry bench. I mean, I may, maybe I could have tried to put it there, I suppose, but I don't want to make this so tight that I can't move through here either. So we're just going to live with that for now. Um, this chest is a drop chest, so the plan there is I just drop stuff off um, and sort it out later. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much the arrangement. I am going to go ahead and leave this door here after all. I was going to take it back out, but I kind of like it, so I think we'll just leave that that door there. And that pretty much updates you on uh, everything I've done on the interior of our base. And I'm really liking the way that it's coming together here. I think it looks great. Okay, you guys, so uh, what we're going to do is we are going to take off. So we're going to 
empty our inventory because everything I have nothing with me that I could take back up to the space station uh, so we would lose it all so we're going to um, just put all of this stuff in here uh, we should probably let's take those let's take this bacon and put it in here um, after we eat some we'll put the these in here I'm, I'm saving all of the basic fertilizers too because we're gonna make the advanced fertilizer once I get the Kim bench made um, oh and speaking of the Kim bench I was gonna put it here in the kitchen area um and I still might do that depending upon how big it is if it fits in the spot where the wood composter is we might take and do something else with the wood composter like put it out uh, in the greenhouse oh that I guess speaking of which that that's actually gonna be the third thing too um, I'm gonna I'm have plans to change all this up over here too so there's actually three major structures left for us to do uh, the utility house the barn and the greenhouse um, so yeah that stuff's coming up later anyway all that to say putting the wood composter out there would make sense the only thing is is having it here in the kitchen also makes sense because you know food eventually spoils in the refrigerator in particular and then I can just easily transfer it over there. so we'll figure that out when the, the time comes for me to actually make the of the chemistry station but I don't want to make any more upgraded stations like I said until we get our, our power situation uh, sorted out um, the lighting too I'm gonna kind of recenter these lights so they're more kind of in the center of the room when the time comes and yeah I think that gets us caught up with with the base all right now what we're gonna do is like I said we are going to offload everything we have let's take this and put the silica in here as far as storage goes um, didn't change anything here so this is iron and copper and steel when I have it uh, these are the more advanced ingots this is oxide and sulfur this is coal and silica this is not being utilized for anything at the moment um, and this is just miscellaneous stuff some of which I could probably actually get rid of um, it's like backup tools and armor and older stations that we're not using but I can't bring myself to throw away that sort of thing uh, I did as you can see move the crafting the original workbench up here and I can still reach it from down here too um, so I don't have to go all the way upstairs to get to it which is nice I guess I put some ice in there we're in the process now of dropping all of our stuff off that here let's put this in here so it can be filling up and I think I yeah I've got another batch of sticks made up here so we'll put oh uh, let's put most of those in there we'll put a few more in here and turn those into more of this okay so yeah we can't take any of this stuff with us at all so we're gonna just run Uh, to our our spaceship and hopefully we can get over there without getting killed um I might here let's let's split the stack we'll take one of these with us we'll take one of these with us so do an alt drag to pull one out the stack and you know if we get all the way over there and don't need them and lose them not the end of the world And yeah, I think. Oh, armor. Yeah, we don't we don't want to lose our armor or our backpack uh, or our oxygen bottle. So all of that can go in here too. Let's take and put the O2 bottle up in the station. So we should be completely um, stripped of everything. This is just our original space suit that never comes off. Oh. But it smells bad inside of there, but let's not even think about that. Okay, we should probably do one more harvest of the guard. Well, nah, you don't think so, because I think once we leave, everything here should just kind of go into stasis until we get back. Um, the only thing that 
I might do is at least do the soybeans because those have a tendency to spoil. They grow faster and spoil faster than everything else. So let's do that. The rest of the stuff I'm not worried about. I mean, even if it all spoiled, we have backups to replant everything. So we'll just do those. Um, the critters should be fine in terms of food and water, but again, I keep thinking like I'm going to go on a long journey uh, instead of actually leaving this save, so <laughs> my brain's not working right. Um, we'll put these back in here. All right, you guys, I think we're ready to go. So we are going to make a mad dash uh, for our ship. Why don't we just eat all this now, too, so we have maximum health. Um, yeah, that's good enough. So we have health and stamina boost uh, to to survive the run, too. Because I have no weapons with me, so that and no armor, so I can't fight anything. If anything attacks us, our only chance is to get away from them. All right, I think we're ready to go. So, House, we will see you later. And, um, yeah, let's do it. Okay. Uh, one thing I've been working on, too, just very slowly as time goes on, is I'm, I'm going to kind of make a road of sorts to get over to uh, the Ring Lake. And by road, I just mean a clear path. So we're going to move all, all trees and all stone, uh, stone boulders and stuff out of the way and we'll get, you know, resources. But it's basically going to cut right through here. And so I kind of started working on that and got, you know, about this far or so before. Looks like we have a tree that's down that I could have. That probably, um, yeah, I don't know if I cut that one down and forgot about it or what. But anyway, uh, this will just be kind of a straight, clear path moving through here. And so when it's all said and done, it'll be, like I said, kind of like a road. So we can just go directly to the Ring Lake and not have all this crap that's in the way. I want to make sure I have lots of stamina, so if we do have to run from something, we have a full stamina bar, so let's not overdo it here. But that being said, we have quite a nice stamina boost with all the food that we have in our belly. Okay, let's mark that so we can go directly to it. Okay, I hear a wolf. Something's growling over that way, so let's go around this way. Okay. Um, I don't spot any crocodiles, crocodile dudes in the immediate vicinity, so I think we're clear. I thought about investing some points into the thing that calls the dropship to you. But I don't know that that makes a whole lot of sense in our open world playthrough because it is not my intention to do a lot of missions on this guy. Um, in fact, really kind of the only reason we're doing this mission is to open up the pass passageway. But, you know, never say never. So let's go ahead and hop in here. And we don't have anything with us. So, yeah, let's return to station. Return orb will remove you from this world and delete all non-workshop items you are currently carrying. You can return, but we'll start with a fresh inventory and dropship. Yep, that's exactly what I want to have happen. This is the first time, like I said, um, that we've actually left the save, or, well, not, not the save, but I mean left up in the space since we started this. Let's go through all of our achievements. Now, um, again, because our our purpose here is not to do the mission for the sake of the mission, I'm just going to kit um, Matthias out. This is our 
or an open world of character, by the way, the one we've been using all along in this series. Uh, I'm going to kit him out with um, stuff. Now, you know, I get I could have used these characters too, but I mean, I guess it's, at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter which one we use, but we'll just do this one. Because I kind of felt like we should use this character for because this is the character that we're using in this playthrough. So let's go new. Let's go to missions with sticks. And Zephyr should be open to me because on multiplayer, we did some other stuff. So yes, it is. Okay, this is Zephyr. This is a three skull mission. It only gives us one day to complete it. Um, Wow, that's not a lot of time, is it? Received a new work order. A big one. Some kind of geological formation has been spied from orbit. Powers that be want more information and to open up that slice of Terra Zone for development. Something about it not being formed naturally. Not sure if I like the implications of that statement. On top of that, we've had reports. Um, I'm not sanctioned to share until you're on planet. Uh, good pay, some risk, considerable risk. <laughs> of course. Okay, so normally I I usually do these missions on hard, but and even sometimes on hardcore. But the thing is, is if we only have one day to do it, um, it, I'm I'm just trying to think if I actually have time in real life to do this in one day um kind of was planning on you know getting it started and then finishing up on a different day but if that's all they're going to give us that sucks so i might actually wimp out and go easy mode just to get through it as quickly as possible um well no let's not let's just at least do it on medium and we'll get 350 uh units and 100 uh exotics Okay, well, let's do it. Now we can uh, choose our stuff. Okay, so we'll do the Hark exosuit. Um, let's take this. Uh, we'll repair it first. And we want to take our water and that. For backpack, probably the gatherer's backpack is what I will take for that. Um, the... Jiju Spear gives us 10% movement speed and 10% less uh, stamina when consumed. So I think we'll take that. Uh, we want a full set of nano armor, and it looks like it's all in pretty good condition, so we don't need to really re well, worry about repairing it. Um, let's definitely take the dropship recall, so that way when we're done, we can just get the hell out of there. Uh, we'll take the furnace and the campfire. And what does that leave us? Okay, we want the Larkwell bow. We need to repair it. Definitely want that. And we want a knife. So is this my, my best knife, the shoey knife? Yeah, it is. Okay, so we'll repair that. Okay, so that's it. That's what we're taking with us. Uh, we'll just have to use cheap-ass stone arrows to get started, but, you know, not a big deal. Um, the bow itself is is a really, really good bow. So I want our top-end bow. Um, M, is there anything else super important that I'm forgetting? We can make stone axe, the stone axe to get the wood. That's not a big deal. We've got the pick. The, this will pick also allows us to carry more, even when we're encumbered, or move more quickly when we're encumbered. So it's really fulfilling two benefits for us. And I think, yeah, we just don't have room for any of the mass dampener thingies. I think we're good to go. Um, so, yeah, that's our loadout. Do I want to do insurance? Nah, I'm not going to do insurance. And this is just going to be me by myself. Here we go. All right, guys, Zephyr Mission. Um, I, I actually don't know exactly what happens in this mission. I've never watched anybody else on YouTube do it. I, all I know is that it unlocks that blockage into the ring lake and the mission want, <clears throat> uh, it, you know, wants us to discover the ring lake, which for us doesn't matter because we've already been there, but uh, that's kind of the, 
the goal of it. But uh, other than that, I don't know any other details. Because it's a one-day mission, I'm hoping, you know, that it's we can get through it fairly quickly. And you know, let me know what you guys think in the in the comments. If you if you really want to see me do missions in this series, um, you know, we could start doing that. We could mix it up, you know, keep the open world save going, but also you know mix up mix it up with missions. Um, you know, let me know. It, it, it our series here is it's well, supposed to be open world. Well, let's let Saul say his thing. Scan. Again, we'll need to do this the hard way. Did have an exploration team getting info for you. Um, this was their last communication. You're going to need that. to grab the radar from your dropship and get the heading yourself. You're not exactly wet behind the ears, but there's something out there. Try not to die. That was intense, man. Remember, there's a scanner in your dropship. I know, I'll get it. This guy's an asshole for, <laughs> for even showing me that. Oh, man, that just does not instill confidence. Holy crap, okay. Um, let's grab these items. We're gonna have to take those with us. Uh, oh, and we need everything else out of here, too, of course. Okay. Oh my goodness, I can't believe... You wouldn't, you wouldn't actually do that... <laughs> do that to somebody. It's like, you, you know, the average person would hear something like that and go, No way in hell am I gonna do that! I'm out of here, you know, that sort of thing, so... I, it's funny, actually, I get a kick out of it, but still. Okay. Let's get everything situated here. Uh, we don't need that on our toolbar. Um, we'll put the spear in slot three. That stuff can stay in our inventory for now. Uh, we are going to want to refresh our water. Okay, so collect the radar from the dropship. Scan the deep canyon region. So let's take a look at our map. What I was saying is... Oh, man, that's going to take us into the Arctic, isn't it? Yeah, so we're going to have to come around down through here and get up into there. This is the passage that we're that we're trying to unlock right there. Why in the hell did they make this a, a one-day mission? Oh, no, wait. Never mind. There's a passage right here. Okay, we're good. Um, okay, well, you know, the nano armor uh, def definitely gives us some decent protection, cold resistance. So we could probably make this happen without having to, you know, make fur armor. So, since we are, uh, it appears that we are near the entrance to the Arctic, um, we might as well, you know, set up shop right here and get, you know, equipped and everything we need to do to, to make this happen as quickly as possible. Uh, we'll fill up our canteen there. Um, and we got some food and stuff, so let's grab some pumpkin and... I saw, I think I saw some watermelon. Yeah, I've got some watermelon here. Soybeans, no, that's not going to really help us out at the moment. But we're probably going to need to do, you know, just like a real basic shelter. And let's get, um, let's get some stone and stuff going so we can make the, uh, a wood axe. So I can cut this wood down because we're going to need it, or cut the tree down rather. So let's see, to make a, or I'm sorry, a stone axe. So we need fiber sticks and, and a few more stones. So I just, like I said, I don't know how much I need to prepare for this mission. I'm not going to, definitely, we're not going to go to tier four or anything like that, but let's at least, you know, get some real basic stuff going here. I mean, for all I know, we, we might be well equipped enough to just go do it now, but I just don't know that, so. Okay, 
Now we still need here. Let's make one of these two. Uh, we still need some more stone, so we're just gonna have to find some loose stone. There's some there. There's some there. Um, oh wait, we have our pick. Duh. Okay. What the hell? All right. Um, we're gonna have to spear this guy because I don't have any ammo yet. Well, there is some meat and stuff. You know, the spears when I when I used to play this game back when when it came out. The spears weren't all that great, but I think they've really buffed the spears. And so, you know, we might want to think about utilizing them more. Um, this, I, I got this from the workshop because of the speed bonus and all the stuff that it gives you for, you know, for that. But, um, all right, let's make this. And I want to make a bone sickle, too. So we just need some wood for that. We'll move this over here. So, anyway, back to what I was saying before Saul interrupted me with that horrifying uh, debrief there, or mission brief, was that um, if you guys want to see me in this series, which is supposed to be an open world series, I mean, that's how I've advertised it, do missions and mix things up, you know, let me know, because I'm willing to do that, absolutely willing to do that. Um, it's just that I want to make sure that I'm delivering what's promise, so to speak, which is supposed to be open world. So you guys just let me know, and uh, we will adjust according to what everybody wants. Because I don't mind doing it. It's kind of nice to mix things up a bit. But the, the main focus of this series is still, you know, the open world aspect. Okay, so now we should have enough to make one of these. Good. And then, I guess we should probably make a few bone arrows. A uh, few as in two. Okay. And then, as far as a shelter goes... Because uh, we're going to need to put down a couple of workstations. We could try and find a cave, but then we're going to have to fight cave worms constantly. Well, not constantly, but periodically. And fight pneumonia, which does not appeal to me, so maybe we'll make a wood structure and see if we can get away with it surviving long enough for us to do what we need to do and just repair it when the storm comes. I think that's what we'll do. Because I just don't want to go batshit crazy with all this. We are going to need some iron, so we're going to have to find a cave regardless. Let's put this on. And we have our first storm. What is it? It's a rainstorm. Okay, this is what it is. We're just going to work through it. Shouldn't be too terribly nasty. Let's grab some berries with our sickle. That's coffee. And some here. And that will give us... Um, well, actually what I was going to do was put down the MXC, though I don't know if it's going to run now with the storm coming. And we'll cook some of that and some of that. And, oh, you know what? We only have three food buffs because I don't have the those armor attachments on that give us the, uh, you know, the extra food slot. So we'll have to keep that in mind. All right, let us uh, let me finish cutting this wood, and we're probably going to have even more wood to cut with this storm. Maybe. I don't know. It depends on how bad the wind itself gets. It's just a rainstorm, so it might not knock trees down. Did I not learn the wood pieces? <laughs> it looks like I didn't learn the wood pieces. Oh my goodness, okay. Uh, 10 points. That's actually tier one, isn't it? Or is it tier two? It's tier one. 
Oh, for Pete's sake. Okay. Uh, let's do it. Because otherwise it's going to... I don't want to do thatch. Uh, but we'll just do the bare minimum. So we got the walls and the floor. Which we can also use for a roof. And the door. We can probably get away with just those pieces and not have to worry about anything else. I'm thinking. Uh, yeah. I want to craft a wood hammer too, so we're going to need some stone for that. We just got the attention of another crocodile. We must have had a lucky crit on that other one that we killed. Alright. We got bit a couple of times, but nothing, no criticals, so... Can't complain too much there. He delivered us some meat, leather, and more uh, bone arrows. Oh, some white meat even. I guess this thing does run during rainstorms, eh? That's good to know. Okay, let's eat one of these, one of these, and... Oh, there goes... There goes a tree. Two trees. <laughs> We're in the red part of the storm now. Ah! Okay. So... I think what we'll do is let's make let's see if we can get away with a two by two. And I guess I'm gonna have to put down wood beams too. So that means we're gonna need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. These will be the foundation. Uh, let's make a couple of these. Two. No. Uh, we'll make five for now. Alright, so... Let's go ahead and maybe start this process. Storm exposure. That's alright. I don't think it's going to hurt us enough to worry about it. Let's put that there. We might not need to put these ones in the back here. Let's see what happens. Yeah, because that's touching the ground, so that should provide adequate support. Uh, now we're going to need six walls and four roof pieces. Looks like I'm going to be run out of material. Though. And we'll put the doorway on this end so we don't have to jump up. And then these will just be normal walls here. Um, looks like I miscalculated the walls. Okay, so uh, let's cut the more wood here. We'll get these trees that got knocked down by the storm. And, of course, one of them falls through the world. Maybe someday Rocketworks will fix that. Maybe. Okay, so we need two more walls and four ceilings. Uh, looks like we're going to need a little more fiber for those. So let's grab some fiber here. Very good. Okay, now next thing we want to do is we want to make ourselves a crafting bench. So we need one piece of stone. 
for that. We're also going to want to make a basic furnace and the herbalism bench and all of that stuff, which we need, uh, which we will make from here on the workbench. All right, so let's put all of these materials in here and let's make a stone furnace. And we're probably going to need more stone to make the herbalism bench, so let's grab some more of that. I'm going to grab um, a little bit of sulfur and oxide and silica too, because we'll need, most likely need that for some stuff. Oh, that scared the heck out of me. need to make a stone furnace we have the mxc forgot that i brought that okay let's put that down then um i don't think we're gonna actually need coal for anything i'm not planning on getting into steel in this i'm uh, gonna you know, hopefully we can get away with not doing that anyway um so we'll just use the coal for this and then of course i'm gonna need to go i did already make it didn't i well, screw it we'll destroy it then um uh, let's make an oxide dissolver well, do we need that, too? We will if we end up staying here longer than usual. Uh, we don't need to worry about armor, because we have our our space station armor on. Workshop armor. Uh, but we are going to want to make some meds and elixirs and stuff. That's the herbalism bench. So let's put this down here. Okay. Uh, so... We're going to want... We could do flatbread also. Oh, yeah, right. We're going to need a, a mortar. Mortar and pestle. Let's make one of those. It's been a while since I've started a, a new mission and, you know, having to start all over from scratch like this again. Uh, we'll put that right there. Okay. So, let's see. What is our next priority here? I think we're going to need to go do some mining and get um get some iron i'm gonna keep the portable beacon with me because i don't want to accidentally put it in storage and then forget it that would not be good don't think we need these beams for anything right at the moment so we've got a decent supply of wood there um so yeah we need iron so we can make flint arrows and Probably I'll make an iron axe too. And oh, I want to make the salt station. So that, I think we make that in here, right? Because there's a, actually a salt no node nearby. Where is the salt thingy? I wonder too if, if it would be worth our while to, to just tame up a, an emu for fast movement. It wouldn't take that long to do. Well, I don't know. That might be more than, than we really need to worry about. How much O2 do I currently have? It's pretty full. But you know what? Let's just make this anyway. Better to have it and not need it, right? We don't need the textiles bench for anything. Any chance that'll fit in this little corner here? Really, game? Oh! Hold on. It will if we just hold it out this way a little bit. That'll work. Okay. We'll put these guys in there. And now we can fill up our O2 as needed. And yeah, I think I think mining is the next thing on the... Oh, actually, no, no before we go mining, let's make some... 
antibiotic stuff. So we need yeast, epoxy, and charcoal. Uh, we should have some charcoal going in here. In fact, let's move this into the house. about that all right we'll put the uh, we'll put the charcoal in here and then we just need some yeast and some epoxy uh, so that means we need some more bones or we need to make uh, sulfur and tree sap so um i would have to make a carpentry bench to make sticks because i don't have that talent how expensive is the carpentry bench we would need carp, uh, copper. Alright. We might see if we can get away with just gathering sticks with our axe. Speaking of which, this axe is going to need to be repaired. So let's do that here. So yeah, our priority is get the antibiotic make, made and then we will go um, mining. So I'm just going to gather sticks from saplings and see if that allows us to get away with it and if it, if it becomes apparent that we need way way more sticks then we can just gather with saplings so here we go we need this too then we'll make a carpentry bench as well okay is that it for all the yeast that's really probably all we will need anyways And we will make some tree sap from those. Okay, let's put these in here. We'll probably end up making some anti-poison tonic too. And some health enhancement, which means we definitely are going to need to do flour. What is this? Sustenance enhancement. Um, I mean, when we go into the Arctic... Greatly reduced food, water, and oxygen consumption, but for a short period of time. It's, it's only 120 seconds, so I just don't think this is this is worth it. It need If it lasted even twice as long as that, it would be more worth it, but it just doesn't last long enough to shake a stick at, you know? Um, okay, so we also need some sulfur. Let's grab this sulfur back out of here. Um, maybe what we'll do is we'll... Put that much in there. Um, sulfur. Yeah, in here. Okay, now we can make the epoxy. Put the epoxy in here. And we will make as many of those as we can. Now, also, we'll want a little bit of anti-poison, but we need some spoiled meat first before we can make the poison paste, which is we, uh, which we will make in here. Oh, and some sulfur there, too. But we still have a little sulfur left over. Um, okay, so let's actually take this raw meat out of there and put it in here and just let it spoil. You're just waiting for ore. Okay, I think we're doing pretty good so far, you guys. Okay, so let's see here. I have a few bones in here besides arrows. Well, yeah, I think that's all we're actually going to need them for because we don't... You know, we don't need to make a bow because we have our bow, so. Um, bow and arrows. So leathers, leather and sticks. Oh, you know what else I want to do? We need to make a bedroll so we have a spawn point. That's important. Bedroll. So we have to go kill a few critters, which we can do. Probably going to happen naturally. And yeah, you're just working on making more charcoal for us, which is fine. Um, we have four antibiotic tonics. That's probably enough for us to get started uh, mining. So, what time is it? It is almost... It's getting dark, but that doesn't really matter. Oh, here's salt. Oh, right. We were going to make the salt thingy. Okay, let's grab this salt. And there's another one over here. I don't remember... Uh, I've been in this area like once a long time ago 
I don't remember where the caves are, so we're gonna have to look around for them. Let's grab this sulfur too. Okay, what do we need to make the salt station? Uh, we just need charcoal and one piece of stone. Um, we are going to need wheat, too, to make flour for the health potions and maybe some flatbread. So let's grab the wheat. And then we're going to, once we kind of get everything else situated, we're just going to sleep. All right, let's put the wheat in here and turn that all into flour. Got the salt there. And we should be able to make the salt station now. Uh, we need 25 charcoal. There we go. Nine minutes to go on that. And preserve our, our food. That'd be great. Good thing to do. Well, these are all finished, so let's grab them. Uh, I'm going to put more charcoal in there. Let's grab the salt station from here. Usually, when I do a building, I build it on the cardinal points, but for this quick quick job here, I don't think it's a big deal. Okay, now um, let's grab the salt. Uh, where is the salt? Oh, I have it. Okay. And we want to go here. And we want to salt this. Nice. Um, can you salt pumpkin? I guess you can. Look at that. Okay. And um, probably our th third food will be flatbread. Okay, let's put that stuff there. We'll keep those there. Keep the bones with us so we can make more bone arrows. Uh, which means we're going to need sticks and leather as well. And we can actually make three more of those right now. I don't want to make a ton of those, though, because we are going to re be replacing them with uh, flint arrows when the time comes. All right, I think we, we are... Oh, wait, we can't sleep. We need a bedroll. we got to go kill some critters. Um, what are we missing for that then? Yeah, we just need fur. We got everything else. Well, in that case, let's just go ahead and head out and and find a a mine. And I'm sure we'll run into stuff that wants to eat us along the way. We are going to need to replenish our our torch here too. We got. I guess we have the stuff for that. So let's get that replenished so it's ready to go when the one that we currently have breaks down, and then we've got to find ourselves a cave. Let's look at the map here for a second. I'm pretty sure there's a cave maybe around up in here. Or we could come back down around through this way. Um... Yeah, let's go. I guess we'll go around the lake first. The problem is it's just, you know, it's so dark out that we probably should just kill a critter and get our bedroll made. We need to do that anyway. So we'll look for a cave, but if we don't find one, we'll kill a critter. It looks like there could have been a cave there. Pig. Bacon. Where is he? Oh, I better not mess with a crocodile. We don't get any fur from crocs. He must... He's right there. That's probably going to get the crocs' attention. But let's see if we can get the pig. And then probably just going to run away from the croc. Okay, any chance that gave us enough fur? What the heck is that? Oh, that's a deer. Uh, enough fur to make the bedroll? 
Nope. We only got two pieces of fur out of that deal. There's a Komodo. He's not going to give us fur. The deer probably would give us a little bit. We need like a wolf or a bear or something. You know, the more I think about it, we could go up. Where are we at? We could go up into here and see if we can snag a couple of snow wolves. If they're near the entrance. I don't want to go too far into the Arctic yet. It looks like it's... I was just going to say, it looks like it's not storming here, but that is not the case. All right, we're not doing this. Bad idea. Not until we're ready. That's a Komodo. Yeah, I don't want to... I don't think I want to go around the perimeter of the lake at night because we're just going to have to mess with Crocs the whole time. No, I don't want to do that. Um, you know what I do want to do, though? So I'm going to go make some salted bacon. And we got some more white meat out of the deal, too, so... There you go. All right, so we'll, we'll let it cook the bacon and the white meat. And then we'll salt that. Oh, the salt stays in there. Okay, I got you. We don't need that. Okay, let's continue on here. Um, all right, so we're gonna. That means we're gonna go south along here to look for a cave. If it was daytime, I'd go around the lake. But again, I, it's not. Crocodiles are not gonna give us what we're looking for. They're very dangerous, and I just not rather not mess with them in the dark. I don't think we need more salt. Come on, lag. Where are all the caves? Got to be some caves around here. I really like I really like this the salt addition to the game. It's so useful here, you know, when you're starting out like this. So that was a, a great, great addition. Great new feature. Do Amoas give fur? I don't think so. They should give feathers, but not fur. All right, we spooked a deer. Kill him just because if we don't, he's gonna kill us. He'll attack us. He's he's uh, aggressive. That's the word I'm looking for. Okay, so yeah, I want to keep going along the cliff wall here. Right, let's use our spear because we can run faster and use less stamina. That's why we brought it. Is that a bear? It's a jag. Okay. Good. Okay. Give us some fur, man. Ten pieces. Good. Not, still not enough, but it gets us closer. Um, let's also replenish the... the uh, hold on a sec. Yeah, we'll do a grilled pumpkin. We'll replenish the watermelon. And as soon as the T-bone thingy wears off, then we'll do a white meat. There we go. We want to wait for it to wear off or we we won't get the buff. Because it's the same buff as the other one. Okay. Continuing to look for a cave in the dark. And hunting. for enough fur to make a bedroll. Chamois. We should get some fur from this little guy. Two pieces. All right, how are we doing? We need 
Six more pieces of fur, and then we're good. Yeah, I'm, um... I'm actually digging the spear. I mean, you, you've already seen how well it's working for me, and I have zero points in spears. I mean, nothing. <laughs> so, if you put points in it, what an effective melee weapon. I'm going to really start thinking about in future playthroughs. Here we go. Um, doing the spear thing. Okay, so let's get the nasty worms first. We're avoiding that. Oh, we didn't kill you? Crap, I gotta be careful, man. This, this poison stacks too much. It'll... will not go well for us. We don't have the poison antidote. Okay, let's use the bow. Are we gonna be okay? Yeah, I think so. Let's use the bow on the remaining ones. Nope, I didn't get my arrow back. There's another worm over here, isn't there? Well, maybe not. I was trying to avoid that. Okay, so we have cleared the cave. Iron is really what we're after. Um, I might grab a little bit of copper too, but I just can't think of why we would need aluminum or anything else besides mostly iron and a little bit of copper. So let's prioritize the iron. Okay, I think that's all I'm going to take because I want to I don't want to be completely encumbered. And as soon as we finish, we get a freaking uh, pneumonia. That's not the way it goes. Okay, we can deal with it. Let's get back out here. Take that. I heard something. All right, let's head back to the base. And drop this stuff off, and then we, we still need to kill uh, a couple more critters in order to get the, the fur we need. But I don't have any room in my inventory weight-wise for that right now, so we've got to get back to the, our little shack here first. There's a wolf. You know, if, how much fur do I need? If he gives us six pieces, we can make the bedroll now and just get rid of all the rest of the stuff. There we go. Um, that's what we needed. Okay, so we can now make the bed roll. Beautiful. Let's head home. First order business. Set the bed roll down, sleep, make it daytime. There we go. Okay. Uh, oh, we need to make this our spawn point to uh, hold E to set spawn point. There we go. All right. Now, um, I want to make at least a hundred flint arrows. So let's put two of those in there. And then the rest of the iron, we need to smelt. And we also need to smelt the copper, too. So we'll get that going. 
Um, we have three things of that, so we can make one poison paste. And we'll turn that into a poison elixir. Let's cook up the meat. And put all that stuff in there. Grab this flower out of here. And put that in there. And now we can make a poison tonic. And let's see. We need to go find lilies. And we need some tree sap, which means we need to, some more sticks. Um, we have quite a few sticks in here. Oh, well, actually, let's get our arrows going first. Because that's going to use up some of those sticks anyway. Good. All right. No longer need the bone arrows. Let's uh, destroy those, get a little bit of materials back from them. And I'm um, just going to go grab a few more sticks. We'll continue to have to use the stone axe. <clears throat> excuse me. And for a little bit longer here. Not too much longer. Croc. Crocodile, crocodile do, somewhere nearby. Um, stone hammer or wood hammer. We need a little stone for that. Where's that crocodile do at? Oh, I guess we better get our flint arrows. Let's get this uh, working on some more tree sap. And then um, lilies. We need to go find some lilies. Oh, he's a level one croc. He did. Oh, that's right. The, the critters... The critters here are a lot lower level than they are at Ring Lake. Okay, let's grab some lilies. I still hear a wolf somewhere close by, but I don't know where he is. Uh, right there. I don't want that guy to bite me. <clears throat> he gives a nasty, nasty debuff. We don't want that. All right, so that gave, that gave us 12 lilies. Let's get a few more. There we go. I want to have one of these handy uh, for when the inevitable storm shows up and does a number on our very brittle wood shack here. Okay, so now let's put the lilies in here. Let's grab the tree sap out of here and make as many of these as we can. 18, that's a pretty good quantity. We'll continue to cook up uh, meat, except for we want to also continue to spoil some meat, too. We need one more of those to make the next... Or no, we don't. We're good. We can make another one of these now. Put those in there. Let's uh, repair this. And we'll put all of that stuff in there. Actually, you know what? We should take those two things of bones and turn those into epoxy. And I also want to... Oh, actually, hold on. Stop. 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 There. Stop. I also want to make 
um, some suture kits too. Let's make five of those. And we have five bandages. Yeah, that's probably enough for those for now. Back to making bone meal. Okay, next thing on the agenda is an anvil. So we just need 40 iron ingots, and looks like we've got 40 right there. right here okay and then uh, we need to make some nails let's make 10 of those and we need wood and leather to make an iron axe and we no longer need our stone axe Destroy that. All right, we are doing good. Doing good. Did I? I must have taken uh, taken the resources out that I needed to make the other suture kits. That was smart. Um, what are we missing? We need leather and fiber. Leather and fiber. Yep, we need three more exactly. Okay, so don't take the stuff out of the inventory until it's done. Grab this. Let's turn the bone meal into epoxy. And we'll also make some more of these too. There is our health packs. So we got ten of those, and we still have eight more coming. And we can also make another poison tonic as well, so let's get that queued up. All right, do I know how to make an iron hammer? I don't, you know what, let's just learn it. Make ourselves an iron hammer. It's gonna be a little bit better than the, the wood hammer. And I'm actually just gonna leave it in the anvil. That's, we'll just store it in there. So that means we don't need this one after all. Uh, yeah, let's just destroy it. Okay. I wasn't actually planning on making an iron hammer, but I just decided to do it because we can. Okay, let's get some copper going next. Um, the only reason I'm doing the copper is because if I decide I do want a carpenter's bench, I'm going to need to make 120 nails. So that's what we need the copper for. All right, I think we are probably at a point now to where we can start heading into the Arctic. You know what else we ought to do, though, now that I think about it, is we should... Um, we should make some hot cocoa. But that's not going to... Actually, we're not going to be able to do that, because we need canteens. And to make, do canteens, we got to do steel, and that's just going to be too much messing around unless I get out there and realize this is way harder than I thought it was going to be and we need to prepare it more more than we have. So, yeah, we're going to have to just try and make Oh, you know what we can do though? We can make we can at least make heat bandages. That we definitely better do. Uh, so, let's see. We need charcoal, oxide and fiber. Grab this charcoal. Um, let's grab this fiber. And let's grab uh, this oxide. Okay, let's make some heat bandages. We'll make five. I think I'd like to make have a full stack of those, like as in tin. So we have enough charcoal, 
We need a little more oxide and a little more fire. Well, hello, Mr. Wolf. Goodbye, Mr. Wolf. Excellent. That'll give us a full stack of heat bandages. Got a few more sticks here. I want to make another one of these so we have, always have a spare on hand. Oh, can we only stack those to five? Oh, crap. I just made the wrong ones. Yeah, I made cooling bandages. No, destroy. We don't want the cooling bandages. We want heat bandages. <laughs> I'm glad I noticed that. Can you imagine if we would have gotten to the Arctic and I would have accidentally popped a cooling bandage? Yeah, that wouldn't have been so good. That would not have been so good. That heals frostbite. Okay. Um, I think we're ready to set out and see see how this goes. So let's grab this and salt it up. Um, I, what does pumpkin give us? That gives us, oh, that gives us exposure resistance. We should probably see if we can find a little, bit, a couple more of those, because that's going to help in the Arctic. Uh, so let's just look for those real quick. We could also make some flatbread though too. I think that gives us some pretty significant stamina regen. I don't know how much uh, flour I have left after making those tonics. So yeah, let's make some flatbread too. We might as well. All right, guys, we found um, some pumpkins. We also have a storm coming in and a crocodile coming in. Let's deal with the croc first. Um, it's just a minor windstorm, so it shouldn't be too bad. He nipped us, but we didn't get any critical injuries, so that's good. Okay, um, let's head on in here. And we're going to cook up uh, this pumpkin. I also grabbed some carrots, too. Um, the carrots will give us uh, more ranged damage, which could also be useful. I grabbed a few more lilies, so let's make a few more of those, and we should also be able to take... Uh, we can make another poison thing too. Grab that. And then we can take this flour and make dough so we can take some flatbread with us into the Arctic as well. Make a couple more of those, put the, the dough in there, and then we're going to need to put our water container in here too. Okay, so let's just have this ready to go when the red part of the storm gets here. Well, even if it does, maybe it won't. So once uh, all of this stuff is done and the storm has passed, you know, I might, what I might end up doing is just waiting till tomorrow morning before we head up to the Arctic. It's 1,400 hours right now, so um, what I think I'll do is maybe I'll go grab some more salt or something and just do a little bit of basic grinding, and then I'll meet you guys in the morning, and then we'll head into the Arctic and continue on this, uh, this quest. So see you in the morning.